Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire, and this week I want to bring you two resist techniques that I enjoy uh, using to create paper for collage. Now, they don't involve the gel plate, which is something unusual for me to be discussing and sharing with you, but I thought that I would share these with you. They are the alcohol and soap resist techniques. Now, they are some of the most amazing results, and they're a relatively simple process, but they are one of the things that my students are um, challenged by the most in terms of mastering. Um, it's because there are a lot of variables. Um, and the, there's the three variables, the most common variables that I tell my students, if you don't get the results that you want or the results that I get, you need to change the paper that you're using, change the color combination that you're using, or change the amount of water that you're using. So I want you to remember those three variables can make a wide range of difference in what we're achieving with the um, with the technique. So when you, uh, after you watch the video and you try it on your own, remember that I said, if you don't get the results that you wanted or that I got, change the paper, change the color, combo or change the amount of water that you're using. So let's go outside to the garage studio and check out the alcohol and soap resist techniques. So for the alcohol and soap spray resist, you need to have an underlaying piece of paper that is painted and is perfectly dry. So you can create this underlaying piece of paper in any process that you like. I merely scraped and brushed this paint on, but it is perfectly dry and the paper is not absorbent. It is not a rice paper. It's an old ledger sheet. It's smooth pretty smooth, but it is not absorbent rice paper. So the paint is going to sit up on the top. This will not work with rice paper. So I've also got a glass dropper, eyedropper bottle uh, that is full of drugstore first aid aisle rubbing alcohol. So these bottles are great and I have them on my Amazon shopping supply list. I love them for the eyedropper and the size and the glass. Um, the second thing I have is a travel spray bottle uh, full of uh, water and Dawn dish liquid. I just shook it up, but it's got about, it's got about this much water and about a good tablespoon of Dawn Blue Original Dish Liquid in a small spritzer travel spray bottle, which is also available on my Amazon shopping list. And then lastly, I've got my Golden Fluid Acrylic Dioxidine Purple. I chose Dioxidine Purple because it is much darker than what I've got painted here. So your base layer needs to be dry and a lighter color than what you're going to go over the top with. So I've chosen my dioxidine purple because it's much darker than the base layer. I've got a sheet of palette paper, my bucket of water, and a soft bristle one inch brush. I'm going to use the palette paper to put out the dioxidine purple, and I'm going to use the bucket of water and the brush to just add a little bit of water to the paint. So I'm squeezing out the paint onto the palette paper. I'm adding some water to it just by dipping the brush in the water. And this is a variable that you have to work out because some colors need more water than others and more water or less water causes different effects. So this is one of those three things that you need to experiment with. The first one is the paper. If you don't get the results that I get, change the paper. Make sure that it has a smooth surface, not shiny, but smooth, and that it is not absorbent. It is not rice paper, but you may change the paper for for different results. Then you're going to change the color combination. I am choosing dioxidine purple because it is significantly darker than the background. If I had tried to do this with red, it is not enough darker than this or that to give us a visual result. It may show up over the teal, but in this area, this over that is not going to be high enough contrast. So that's where you would need to change the color for a higher contrast. So I'm adding water with the brush, just dipping the brush in the water and adding a little bit of water to the dioxidine purple. I'm going to divide my sheet in half so that I can do one side with the alcohol and one side with the soap spray. So my first will be the alcohol. The steps for both processes are exactly the same.
So we're gonna go over this with the dioxidine purple. And I've added water to the fluid acrylic by dipping the paintbrush in the water, okay? So now I'm gonna take my rubbing alcohol and dispense it in droplets out of the eyedropper right into the dioxidine purple paint while it is wet. You have to move quickly and get the alcohol into the paint while it is wet. It will not move the paint once the paint is dry. So this is a resist and in order for it to work, the top layer needs to be wet and the bottom layer needs to be dry. So here you see I'm getting these wonderful droplet shapes that are revealing the interesting color combo that I had underneath. And there you have the alcohol resist effect. Next up is our soap spray, which as I said, is exactly the same steps. So I'm again gonna take my watered down dioxidine purple and brush it over my light colored prepared lower sheet and that is dry. It is prepared, it is dry. The paint is dry underneath and it is wet on top. Now I am gonna take my Dawn dish liquid in my small travel size spritzer, shake it up so that it's full of bubbles. I'm gonna back it off, uh, back it up as far away from the paper as I can and then I'm gonna spritz it once. The key is to wait when you spritz it once because when you're far enough back, that soap takes a little while to make it down to the paper. So if you get anxious or um, you're in a rush and you spray it more than once, you're gonna make a mess. So one spritz and wait. And then here you can see the effect is beautiful, speckly resist, revealing the colors underneath. So the steps are exactly the same. They are both a resist, but they're giving very different shapes from the soap spritz to the alcohol droplets. So there is two of my favorite resist techniques. Happy Friday, and thank you for being here.